Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor, and I thought I'd dedicate this video to the yellow subtype, uh, the peace-minded yellow types, the seekers, as I begin to call them. Um, because the yellow type is when normal, when in the normal range, a kind of seeker type, a type that is dedicated towards searching for some kind of answer to some kind of question, to learning or discovering something, to keeping an open mind and to reflecting on the truths and the lessons of life. So a yellow ISTJ is someone that takes a long time to root themselves and to ground themselves in what they have learned from the past. A yellow INFJ is a highly philosophical type. A red, sorry, um, uh, an ENFP yellow is going to be an investigator, exploring new patterns and making connections and thinking about how it all fits together, all their experiences they've had. So this is a processing type. And I talk about the yellow type in relation to type 9, not because all yellow types are necessarily type 9s, but because uh, the type 9 is a common block for the yellow type. Um, the type 9 Enneagram type is the most peace-minded of all the Enneagram types. It is easygoing, self-effacing, receptive, reassuring, agreeable, and complacent, according to the Enneagram Institute. Uh, looking at uh, type 9, uh, you'll find uh, a kind of block that stops you from issuing your own will and exercising your own will on the world. Uh, the yellow type is the one that struggles the most with expressing and uh, exerting their own judgment about what the world is. They don't think about, they don't think in terms of if people are good or bad or uh, good or evil. They don't necessarily think in terms of uh, if uh, who people are or if people can be trusted or not. Uh, they are generally likely to compromise and to adjust in a sense because often this type is so steady and so peace-minded they believe that even if i compromise even if i let go and uh, lower my will and let other people win i can still feel okay about the situation i can feel still feel balanced i can feel still feel calm i don't have to get angry there's no point in getting angry about it but of course um, the enneagram type nine will <sighs> suffer from issues because of this. Um, you could say that typically the at the core of it all, uh, there is uh, something very healthy about being a yellow type, but there is a core need in being a yellow type, just as with other colors that we are, that drives us to be yellow. Um, and that core need, of course, is the need for peace, for understanding, for, in a way, making peace with and accepting life as it is and coming to learn things about how the world is shaped. And that is the healthy drive. That's the healthy thing about it. Um, a person who is yellow is typically going to be in tune with their introverted or extroverted nature or with their intuitive or sensing nature. Um, and uh, the negative thing and what makes the yellow type prone to being a type 9 or overly compromising is that they have somewhat repressed their third and their fourth letter. So the INFJ has repressed their feeling and judging, causing them to struggle to show their own opinions and their feelings to the world, uh, where the ENTP uh, will be struggling to... Um, uh, use their thinking and perceiving function to uh, barter, to think tactically about the situation and to diagnose and to uh, show the world the best course of action, the smartest course of action. Uh, so the nine shuts down critique they might have in a situation about how something is going. Uh, they might not be expressing uh, what they think is ideal for the world. So the INFJ might not talk as much about the, co the code of conduct that is important to them. They might not talk about uh, ex uh, or exercise uh, what 
they think is uh, right or wrong in a situation. And the thing is, like, an INFJ is not really a person that will have strong opinions on what to do. An INFJ will never be the kind of person that has a strong sense of ambition to, I want to do this or I want to do that. And they're not very materialistic overall, so they won't be thinking in that term. But INFJs and all feeling judging types do have strong opinions about how things are done, how a problem is solved, or how we treat one another. So it is typically there the block resides in uh, this um, inability to talk about how they want things to happen and how they want the situation to proceed. Now, uh, there is a high and there is a low point for the yellow type and uh, the low point is uh, when you become kind of so self-compromising and so pacified that you kind of drop out or give up in the struggle of something. If there is a struggle of wills in a situation if you drop out and if you give up what you want and if you don't go for your ambition or if you don't let yourself express what it is you believe in or what you think is important, uh, then you fall kind of in the five loop. When the stress of a situation becomes too much, uh, INFJs and uh, yellow types overall are prone to quitting or to withdrawing from a struggle or from a situation and not expressing or not going for the win and not going for what they want. When uh, the yellow type is in a form of high, uh, at their highest point, they are often helper types, uh, able to show other people how to uh, access their dreams and how to make people's dreams happen, able to go far into other people's uh, lives and to come up with ideas and plans and ways for other people to live happier, richer, uh, healthier lives. So the yellow types are able to take the truths that they have gathered over the years from reflecting on the world and to share it with other people in a way that allows and stimulates growth. So with all of this in mind, what I want all yellows to recognize is there is nothing wrong with valuing peace and with valuing stability, but there is also nothing wrong with executing your will and trusting your judgment and expressing when you feel like something should be done differently or when there is something wrong with the situation. Letting other people know how you want something to happen or how you want something to proceed and showing other people a better way to solve problems and a better way to deal with and to handle situations. Um, you have in you a part uh, nature that you repress to some extent as a yellow type and that is uh, your ambitious drive, your drive to achieve or to accomplish or to improve or to make something better. And just because you're in the seeker mode and just because you're a bit lost to or perhaps reevaluating what it is that is truth, what it is that is important, doesn't mean that you're wrong. That's also something. Uh, as a yellow, I think you can be inclined to feel like you're on, an, on a search and if you can't really share, you can't really exercise your will and tell other people what you want until you finish that search. But truth of the matter is that search can go on forever and uh, you can be just going in circles in this search. And often the best way to find out what is truth is to balance that search with also sharing the lessons you are learning as you go and uh, finding out through trial and error which lessons turned out to be true and which lessons turned out to work and which didn't. So how I got out of my block, uh, last year I was very far down in the seeker spiral. I kept uh, thinking and thinking and thinking about doing something while doing this. I kept thinking and thinking until I f and believing I needed to find out the good system, the perfect system. And uh, then I decided, fuck it, I'll just do it. <laughs> I'll start sharing it. And I didn't have the full system back then. I didn't have everything down. I didn't know the answers to everything. But as soon as I decided to start sharing it, that's also when I started to truly improve in the system and to truly learn beyond just theory. And that's also why I was able to make so much effort this year and make so much improvements these years uh, in developing this theory. I've done five times more this year than I did last year and that's because I've been able to talk with all of you guys and to share posts and to have discussions with people 
about my thoughts instead of just thinking and thinking and thinking and waiting and thinking, oh, I'll share it when I found out the truth. Hopefully this video will help yellows and hopefully it will share some insights about what it means to be yellow. Perhaps it's easier for you to say you're a yellow type now after this video or perhaps you think you are another type. If you are, uh, stay tuned for other videos. I hope to make more follow-up videos on this and I hope to see you guys tomorrow.